so midway today they <laughs> came by with a completely they made more changes basically hi guys it's the third week of school it's september the third we were off yes no it is not september the third it's september the fourth we were off on the third for labor day and uh, so this year's this week is starting off with a bang i say facetiously but um we've got a new uh, i think this is maybe our our third or is it our fourth new schedule for this year and it's just the third week of school so i know this is a new admin and everything but you can tell by the changes. I guess this is a third change because the, through the first schedule, I did not have those big post-its up with the times that we uh, switch or the times of uh, different times of our schedule. So that's the second change with the original writing of specials at 9:40, and then it was changed again with specials of 10 o'clock. So now, let me show you this. Third grades in red. So now specials. Specials in conference is at 9:10 for third grade. So, and if anyone's familiar with readers in writing workshop, teachers college, writers, readers workshop, writers workshop, there's a block of time that uh, for readers in writers workshop, there's a block of time that they don't want interrupted. It has to be the full time. I think it's 90 minutes, hour and a half, without interruption, and it's hard to do with the the schedules I have two classes we switch so we have so many hours with each class and then we have specials in between one class we have RTI in the middle of another class and there's lunch right in the middle hopefully it's right in the middle uh, it says lunch 11 to 12 45 it says reading slash ELA slash lunch from 11 to 12 45 so I guess from 11 until 12:15. we go do what's left of reading in ELA and then <laughs> from 12:15 to 12:30, 12:45, we go to lunch so I need to figure out where to put stuff okay so wow Eight from eight o'clock until nine. Okay, I'll figure it out. Readers workshop, then specials, then writers workshop, then lunch, then switch, and then readers workshop, then RTI. And the readers workshop, then writers workshop, then RTI. Then the last fifteen minutes is wrap up and dismiss. I guess that's how we work it. But specials at nine ten in the morning. And then lunch at 11, the lunch where is it, at 11.15, no, 12.15, it'll work, I'll make it work, but I did print some things out, I have not done centers yet, because I really couldn't figure out where to put centers, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to put it back on the back counter, and just have them to grab a center container which I have not gotten the containers to put them in because I had specific places around the room where they did these things in my other classroom but there's no space here so I'm thinking I'm gonna put it in the back of the room you the see that through the moon where the leveled readers are back there that I can't really use that I think I'm just gonna put the center bins back there word work and uh, you know the writing center is already back there but the word work center and other stuff. Let's see if I can put it in the back. We have the library. I don't have math, so I guess it'll be... I don't have a listening station here. There are no Chromebooks, so we can't listen to reading because no Chromebooks. No computers. There's no computer station, so the only thing that I have is word work and writing and reading. Read to self, maybe read to someone. But they already do that during independent reading and private reading, so they would probably get bored with that really quickly, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I may throw in a math station, even though I don't teach math. Um, I'll do 
word work, writing, and math rotations. Because there's nothing else that I can think of right now. If you have any ideas, let me know of what I can do in limited space. And also, those leveled readers back there, they're L through O. And I don't know if I've mentioned it before, most of my kiddos are, I have one in B. I have some C, uh, two C's. I have a lot of D and E's and F's. I only have maybe four or five that are, can actually use those back there. So I have no, still have no library for the majority of my kids. So that's gonna be an issue. So, honestly, <laughs> kind of frustrated a little bit because I'm not getting what I need. I still don't have my bookshelves to actually put those books away. So they may be down here. I may move those somewhere else and put my leveled readers down there because I have, or maybe around the library area, around that it perimeter of the, the library area down there against the wall. Maybe I'll put them there, but anyway. I did make some things for centers, and this is probably going to be upside. Let me turn it around so it won't be upside down. Of course, everything this is my breakfast. But of course, everything was from Teachers Pay Teachers, and I printed on photo paper. I found this at the thrift store. It was a huge box of like 500 sheets of photography paper, and it's kind of shiny. So I thought it might be a good idea, but I don't think I could dry erase on that and wipe it off. I think I still may have to laminate it, but it's called four in a row. And you play with a partner and take turns reading each word aloud. If you read it correctly, cover the color with the circle. Whoever gets four in a row first wins. And it's just several of those. I, I didn't think I printed them in color because I didn't want to use up my ink, but I forgot to <laughs> say which pages I, pr I want to print. So I ended up printing them all. And also I ended up printing them twice. Because the first set, if I can find them in there, I printed it on, I forgot to take them off of two-sided printing. So it printed on front and back. So I had to print it over and unfortunately printed the colored one also. So I have a lot of these <laughs> that they can do. And then of course the ones, the centers I had from last year, I printed the may do must do's list. If I can find it in here with one hand. Yeah. Word work, must do, may do list, and they are those. At the top it says the one that you have to do, and if you finish early, then you may do the other activities. I did print that to go in the actual lid of the box. Here they are. Like this is just one example. You do squiggle spelling first, and if you have any extra time, and these, I bought the editable ones, so I put in read a book, Scrabble spelling, or rainbow rule, because I don't have a lot. Uh, the person who did this did have a lot of other things that they can do. And these are just the copies to be made in the front office. And I've never had anything made or copied in the front office. You have to have a line. Put the teaks on there that they apply to and request it two days in advance, so we won't get to do those today. And then I did... This is also from Teachers Pay Teachers. I think both of these came from Pocketful of Primary, I think. Uh, these are called the Terrible Tweets. And it's basically correcting the grammar. This is the answer sheet, but they're in there. <laughs> Where you, uh, the ones that they have to correct. They can print, oh, there they are right there. You correct punctuation, capitalization, etc. And this is the answer key that I showed you to these. And she used, uh, this is a football edition, so she used modified names of popular football players. G.G. Watt instead of J.J. Watt, Richard Thurman, Tony Nomo instead of Tony Romo. And I don't know them all, so I'm not going to even try. Those are the couple that I know. I saw Sam Newton or, yeah. Sam Newton instead of Cam Newton, Tom Grady instead of Tom Brady, Peyton Tanning. So I thought it was kind of cute, so I did get that one. And I need to make copies of the uh, the answer sheet where they correct it. That's, um, that's another center. 
And of course, I already have some from last year. This is a, a sort noun verb and adjective sort, and then these are the cards that it goes to. And unfortunately, I printed out one front to back, so I had to reprint it. The reprint is in here. And those are the answer sheets where they have to write it down. And I think, oh, those are more words from my bulletin board in the back. I made more of them using PicMonkey and BlockPoster.com. And I'm just going to cut those out because the ones in the back are so tiny. See how big the writing header is and how small that one is? So I decided to reprint to make them it's all It's the end of the day size. on Tuesday, and I'm sitting here trying to get my center organized. So I need to get these laminated, but we have to add, attach the teaks that each one of these applies to in order for them to be copied or laminated or whatever. So that's what I'm doing now. It's been a frustrating day. They, <laughs> when we came in, they had changed the schedule. They sent us email like overnight or early this morning about a new schedule excuse me, about a new schedule that we'd have to adhere to as of today. So midway today, they <laughs> came by with a completely, they made more changes basically. So it's been a frustrating day. And also at the end of the day, they had already stated that every child according to the district must still have a tag with their bus number or car rider number on it. So I had to spend of course they didn't bring it back, so I had to spend 30 minutes of instructional time making new tags because they expect the teachers to do it. So instructional time, 30 minutes of that, and the running records. I still haven't finished. I have about 18 more students out of both classes to take care of, and they're due tomorrow. Grades are due Friday. So it's been an overwhelming day, an overwhelming couple of weeks actually. but. It is what it is. I'm putting in the reading levels in the IRL spreadsheet, but I forgot to do the words per minute. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. I forgot to put the words per minute because a running record, a teacher copy has fluency level, but it has one, two, three, four. That's what their fluency level is. And I just looked at the IRL spreadsheet and it's asking for words per minute. Most of my babies though are below, are below J. So in third grade, yeah, they're below in the guided reading levels. So I don't think that I have to put it in for theirs. They have it, I guess the, the column is there in case they're above a certain level. So I don't think I'll have to do most of them, just the higher levels. So that's not terrible, but being the fact that it's due tomorrow and I still have 18 students to go and they're due tomorrow, they may be watching cartoons. So. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. My youngest daughter just called and says, she's talking about texting my oldest daughter, let her know that uh, she doesn't have to pick me up until later. Now, mind you, the time that she's supposed to pick her up is right now. Well, actually, it would have been 20 minutes ago. And she's not on campus. So she decided to go somewhere else. And my daughter's phone is it's not receiving calls. But So I can't reach her, and she can't reach her. So. My oldest daughter is going to be hot, <laughs> and she has a, an anger issue, but um, we'll see what happens. So I know I'm going to have to deal with that as soon as they're here, because my car is in the shop, so they have to pick me up after picking her up from college. She's doing a, a junior college, and so there's no on-campus dorm, so, and she doesn't have a car yet, so my oldest daughter is picking her up in her car and then coming to pick me up, so she's going to be really unhappy when she gets here. So that's another issue. And then I have at my church, they have a church business meeting on Tuesday night when they, like, I don't know why they didn't just have it Sunday after church for, you know, 20 minutes or something. Like, I'm so tired. It's Thursday. Yay, Thursday. Sept it's Thursday, September the 6th. It's like a third, third week, fourth week of school. I don't even know. I think it's the third week of school, I think. Anyway. I'm trying to get my life together. You can see my desk has been in shambles forever. So 
So I'm trying to get my organization done. I have all this paperwork and I don't have any filing cabinets anymore because I never bought the wire frames to go inside the cabinet. So I just said, ask the, um, the building maintenance people if they could just remove them because there's no sense having filing cabinets with nothing, nowhere to frame anything. So I bought these milk crates from Office Depot and the painter splattered, whatever you call them. And these milk crates, I got them, they were on clearance. They were originally like $9.99 a piece and I got them for like five something a piece because I bought two and they're $10.26 total. So it's a pretty good deal. I also went to Office Depot, I bought some folders. They had pocket folders with the brads in them for 15 cents each, the paper ones. So I got a stack of those in blue and yellow. They didn't have as many yellow. I wanted for all 50 of my kids, all blue for reading, all yellow for writing. But they didn't have as many yellow ones, so I'll have to make do with some other colors, maybe yellow and green, yellow and green for writing, and blue for reading. But I need to get that in order. And then I went to Target, and I found these bad boys, the large crates without the holes in them. Uh, for two dollars and three cents on clearance. So I thought that was awesome because the the crate the little containers that I did buy were from the dollar store and they're so small that I thought they were gonna work but I can't even get uh, everything's falling out because it won't fit and I can't get the crayons in there and the markers so I bought bigger ones. And I'm of trying course. to get my life together, my organization taken care of so I can actually function because it's hard to function when everything is everywhere. So I actually bought some, brought some more books from home, but I bought these, ah, I just made a mess. But these stackable trays to put my, where they can put their center paperwork, the responses for their centers in one of them, the so writing folders in one, and the read away folders in one, and the write away folders in another. So I plan to use these stackable ones on that back counter for that. I printed labels to go with that and that's what I'm cutting out now. Oh actually these three, <laughs> so I told you I'm trying to really get my life together. These, the objectives and reading and writing is, are going to go over there on that rolling cart. The objectives in the top in reading and writing, first class, reading and writing, second class. Because I just have them, see everything's everywhere. I just have my objectives that I've printed from Teachers Pay Teachers. They're just stacked under here. And I put them there. But when they're not in use, I want to be able to store them away somewhere. So I'm going to do that over there. I'm getting my life situated, getting my life together. My alarm's going off letting me know that I'm late taking attendance. So I'm gonna sit down and do that. They're using, utilizing that clip system really well back there, the attendance clips. And we've gotten in the habit of doing that. And they take care of that every day and it helps so much because right now they're in specials and I'm needing to take attendance. I know exactly who is not here with that thing back there. So that's great. Okay guys, um, still trying to get my life together. I have cut out my labels for my stackable trays that are in the bag. They're stacked up now. But I, there are five of them, but I put the fifth one, which is pink, back at the kidney table just to store some things. And I was trying to figure out how to put labels on them because they have the, the holes all the way through. So I remembered that I had these labels that I bought from Bullseye's Playground, Dollar Spot, whatever. Or I think, I think they were just a dollar. So I have, this is 20 of these in here. So I was going to put my labels inside of those and kind of attach it to the side. We'll see how, because I wanted to get them laminated, but I'm out of laminating sheets and my Amazon order has not come in yet. But it's like sitting here build a Congress to get any copies or lamination done here. You have to get approval and then they have to sit there and think about it and then they submit it. So it could be next week <laughs> before I get everything taken care of, but I really want to get this out of the way. So I was glad that I had these. So I'm going to use these and I have more labels to put on the books that I brought today and 
all the information, the, the new schedule, because they gave us a new schedule, then they gave us another new schedule, and then another new schedule. So I'm taking those down, and I'm putting up new ones. And I had written all of this in wet erase marker, so I need to wipe that out and redo my schedule again. I'm glad I hadn't, because I usually take sentence strips, the colorful sentence strips, and put it on the, like on the back cabinet, like I did that last year and I wanted to do it this year. But I'm so glad I didn't do it. I hadn't done it yet because we've changed schedules, master schedules and recess schedules and lunch schedules and rotation schedules like four times since school started. So when they get their minds made up, when everything gets settled, then I will do it. But maybe next week or the week after that because anyway, and I printed these. I found these letters. I just Googled colorful letters. I'm going to use those, going to cut them up. I wanted them laminated also, but you know. But I'm going to cut them up and put them on the book bins that I have they, my teacher college library they finally brought me. But that's not urgent because unfortunately, and my students, unfortunately, only about seven of my 50 students are at those levels. So I don't really don't want to pull them out and then the other ones have really nothing to read because they can't read those levels. So I put them in the storage cabinet in the back to get to free up my back counter back there because it was just a mess. They were just sitting there and I have no bookcases anyway. My books are still on the floor. I stored them in the cabinet. I'm not going to remove those labels that are on the bins with the different books that are supposed to be in there in the levels for each bin like I did last year. And it was a nightmare at the end of school trying to <laughs> put all those books back in the correct bin when I had no idea which bin they were supposed to go to. So I'm just gonna, gonna put these, cut them out individually and stick them onto a large colorful post-it, a larger colorful post-it, like the a little square size, about that size post-it behind them and use tape, I'm gonna tape over it. And I'm gonna put the, because these letters are smaller than the actual white label that's behind it. I just wanna kinda cover it up and I don't wanna destroy the label that's behind it. So, sorry that was so close. I keep forgetting about that and putting it too close. But anyway, I don't want to destroy the, the white label that's already on the bin with the different books that are supposed to be in there. So I want to take a post-it and put it behind the little letters and then put it on the bin and then tape over the entire thing, the post-it and the letter, so that the label behind it will be preserved and won't be all taped up. And when I rip the tape up, rip off the label. So that's what I'm doing and hopefully I can get my life together the students come back I have to pick them up. oh man I run out of time so I have to pick them up in five minutes and I need to go to the front office and pay for my faculty sh polo shirt that they want us to have for the faculty photo <sighs> so much to do so little time so uh, I'll talk to you later good morning it is Friday September the 7th and I just want to show you how my um, my tray, stackable trays turned out. And I, I think I'm gonna take the read away and write away one away and just do the writing folder and then homework folder and conduct folder, and just the three. I'm gonna zip tie these together and use this for the read away and write away folders. So that's what I'm gonna do. But then I left my area clean. My desk is, well, for the most part clean. So I was happy that I can leave my desk like this. I started my storage area here. I need to make labels for the file folders. But cleanliness is, I'm almost there. But I do need to stop and enter grades. So grades are due, grades are due today. So I'm gonna get to that. It's about 6.40 in the morning and I'm going to sit down and enter grades. YouTube is the end of the day. Grades are done. I'm so done. I'm tired. It's about 5.30 and I'm getting ready to go home. So the only thing I have left to do is, well, I, I did the conduct folders. I finally got that out, but it feels like I didn't really teach much of anything today. It seemed like I was doing, trying to get those grades in. I didn't realize I needed five daily grades, one homework grade, and a major grade for each subject. Yeah, that was on me. Uh, <laughs> so I had to that I had grades but I, you know I hadn't graded everything thinking okay two grades per subject I don't know why I thought two I don't know what was going on in my head but I was thinking two grades per subject not five two grades a homework and a major 
yeah. But that one's on me. I just wasn't paying attention. But I've done that. I've done conduct folders. I, I taught writing. And then they read independently in partner reading. And that's what both sets of classes did in my class today. So I'm just trying to get everything organized. Still seems like I'm not catching up fast enough. But my homework folders are almost done. They're stacked. And I've seen people with the fancy labels on the folders. But you know what? I'm just not. So we have two different reading logs that go in the reading homework folder. Well, they go f that are for reading. But I'm not sure which one they decided to do for homework and which one for daily reading during class. So I can't put it in there yet. So once I find out, I'll put it in there. So it means I'm going to stand still until Monday. And I'll be hustling trying to get that done for Monday before they leave. And... Um, I've got my I've got my tray stacked up. I'm going to change that to writing folder, homework folder, ri uh, writing folder, homework folder, conduct folder, and something else. That's not. But this will be for my read away and my write away. And I'm going to change that to instead of morning class and afternoon class because we st we change the way we switch. So my homeroom class is now my afternoon class, but they were everything that they were trained to do is the yellow labels that say morning. You're gonna have to switch it to our names, the teachers' names instead, so they'll know which basket to put their stuff in. And if I can get an easel, you see all those things on the wall, on the whiteboard. If I can get an easel to clamp those on too, that would be great. But right now it's cluttering up my whiteboards all the anchor charts and I don't have any anchor chart paper or an easel to clear out that clutter so hopefully they finalize the schedule so I can get rid of this mess right here but it is what it is so you know I will adapt but I did manage to put I did manage to put my headers on the top, I need another set for the second class reading and writing. Slowly getting there, slowly. But I will see you all next week.